Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the ECX Ruckus from Horizon Hobby. Uh, this is a 1 18th scale monster truck. Pretty cool looking little guy. Looks really tough and, you know, rugged and durable. Um, pretty cool. It, you know, has the uh, standard ground vehicle transmitter here, which I thought was pretty cool to see this like wheel and brake caliper. Uh, sort of design and it's got a rubber grip to it so it feels good in the hands um, has you know the little tray here opens up for your power switch um, you've got actually dual rates for the throttle and steering so you can kind of dial them down a little bit if you want to get a little more precise um, and you can also reverse them and then you've got uh, trim here as well for your throttle and steering. So pretty cool to see trim and dual rates and everything. Um, it comes with a wall charger for the um, 900 milliamp hour uh, nickel metal hydride battery. Um, however, they uh, on I think in the on the Horizons listing it said something about this battery is no longer available or something. And so I went and I found this 1200 milliamp hour battery and I got this thinking that I was going to get an upgrade. But you'll see, I mean, they are exactly the same. I mean, they're the same size, same number of cells, same everything. And then, you know, after running them both and charging them both, I have determined that the stock battery is actually 1200. I don't, I think they misprinted or changed the cell count and forgot to you know in you know change the number not really sure what happened there but the 1200 battery 1200 mah battery is actually the same as stock so don't buy this thinking that you're getting an upgrade because it's the exact same um, but the weird thing is that this wall charger has no indicator i mean you'll see there's no little like light on it at all so it doesn't indicate when the battery is done charging at all uh, they tell you that it, to just leave it on the charger for nine hours. Uh, they say that it gives 100 milliamp hour uh, charge per hour. So, you know, it's a 900 milliamp hour battery, so leave it for nine hours. But since it's actually 1200 milliamps, I don't know if you actually need to leave it for 12 hours. I don't know. I, I I find that so worrying that this doesn't have any sort of charge indicator that I never actually used it. I just don't. I do not trust that. Uh, batteries can be dangerous, so I don't want to leave a battery on a charger for nine or twelve hours or whatever. So I used my hobby grade charger and I charged it in an hour, and that, that's perfectly fine when you use a you know a one C charge rate you can charge any battery safely in an hour. Uh, so I would suggest, you know, if you're gonna be running this, you may want an actual, you know, hobby grade charger for it, because I don't know how trustworthy this little wall adapter is. That's kind of, kind of scary to me. Anyway, um, you get about 11 minute run time, you know, obviously give or take, depending on how fast you're running and what surface you're running it on. Uh, but 11 minutes seemed to be a pretty good average from, you know, all the different test runs that I did. Um, it actually comes with batteries for the transmitter, so you're completely ready to run everything you need. And then it even has some spare parts, a few different gears, and I'm not really even sure what all these are, but, uh, you know, good, good little selection of spare parts there in case you strip something and need to do some replacements. Uh, there are no, like, upgrades for this, though. There's no metal parts or lipo or brushless conversion or anything like that, so... Uh, you know, what you get is what it is. There's no real upgrading it. Uh, but, you know, for, for what it is, it's, you know, it's a good beginner's, uh, you know, or just, you know, somebody that's just looking for some casual fun. It's, it's pretty slow, maybe 20 to 25 mile an hour top speed. Uh, so not super fast, but, you know, it's got good clearance to it. So you can run in the grass, you know, run it around the backyard and, uh, driveway and stuff like that no problem and it's pretty durable I've given it a pretty good beating and haven't broken anything on it yet so pretty nice there uh, one thing I found highly frustrating though is it it has the this battery bay on the bottom so you've got this little um, tab that you move there and then this battery bay pulls out and you put the battery in 
through that. But this doesn't like make it any more convenient or anything because you still have to plug the battery in. So you still have to get under the canopy to get to the battery cable to plug it in and turn on the on and off switch. So I'm, I'm not really sure I understand what the point is of having a battery bay on the bottom like that. But anyway, let's uh, look under the hood. All right, so I'll go ahead and pull that off. There are, you know, four body pins that you can secure the canopy on with. I don't have them on now just for convenience's sake. Um, but so you'll see that the battery cable comes up through this hole and you still have to plug it in here. And then there's an on off switch here as well. So, I mean, you still have to get underneath the canopy to do all this. Why do I need to access the battery from the bottom? I just, I don't get that at all. I really don't understand why that's there or what it's supposed to be helping with or whatever. Uh, we got a 380 size motor and you know, it is, it is four wheel drive and waterproof. So you can drive in snow and rain, you know, it's not, you know, don't drive it on the bottom of a pool. I don't think you're supposed to submerge it, but you can get it wet. Um, let's see what else is there i mean you've got all your independent suspensions and nice wheels on it they kind of you know a little bit grippy not super grippy uh, but i found it to you know get pretty good traction i wasn't spinning out a lot or anything um i think that's about all there is to say about it so let's go uh, check out some run footage all right, this is the run review of the little ECX Mini Ruckus 118th scale. We'll start over here on some pavement, just do some speed runs. So top speed, that's full throttle. So there's our top speed there. Not super fast, but fast enough to be fun. Probably somewhere, you know, 20, 25 miles an hour, something like that maybe. And it's really stable so you can you know give full turns with full throttle and it doesn't tend to want to flip itself or anything all right so there's our speed runs let's go ahead and take it over across the street here into some gravel and stuff Things good on pretty much any terrain. <coughs> Gets a little bogged down in the taller grass, but it can certainly do it. That's full throttle through the grass there. Get over here and try this out. Not as fast as the uh, Volcano 18, but it is it is fun and durable and quick enough.
Definitely seems to be able to take a beating though. This is probably my fifth or sixth run with it and I've, I've beat it up pretty good and haven't broken a thing on it. Doesn't quite want to climb that. Not enough ground clearance. <laughs> All right, I think that was a pretty good run review. There we go, that's the ECX Mini Ruckus 118th scale. Not super fast, but pretty fun and can certainly take a beating. Uh, definitely a good one for the younger crowd or, you know, someone just looking for a nice cheap uh, little RC to bash around the front yard or whatnot. So pretty cool. Check out the uh, video description for price and purchase link. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.